Assalamualaikum So we will move to the first slide which is on introduction of company name So Biochemicals Malaysia BCM Sendiri and Berhad is uh, our selected company name uh, This uh, company has been established uh, due to few factors such as a uh, substantial rise in demand and also uh, development towards uh, sustainable and also eco-friendly. So we begin this company with three main things. The first one is uh, project scope, budget and also time frame. So the three products that had been proposed, uh, uh, the first one is bioethanol, silicon and also sulfuric acid. So by using uh, unweighted and weighted scoring method, uh, bioethanol shows the best uh, choice among the three products. There are several criteria that had been considered through the scoring method, which are the first one is production of process, the second one is raw material availability, uh, the next one is low cost of production, marketability, payback period and also application of the process. So the three locations that had been considered uh, based on few criteria are Mua, Gurun and also Kerti. So the few criteria needed for the selected location are uh, raw material, energy and also market availability, uh, water supply, labor supply, waste disposal, transportation and others. So Mua has proved uh, as the best uh, choice. So as we know, bioethanol nowadays is widely used in various industries such as in the manufacture of furnishes and perfume, as the preservative in transportation energy, as biological specimen, disinfectant and also in preparation of essence and flavoring. So dependencies on the main source of energy, uh, which is known as non-renewable sources, contribute to limited uh, non-renewable supply for a long period of time. Based on some research, uh, the demand of the main product is rises significantly and Malaysia also consumes the excessive energy of the main source, which is uh, 44,268 kiloton of oil equivalent in 2007 as well. Malaysia has been recorded a huge amount of hypnocellulosic waste which is come from agriculture waste, solid waste, and also forest residue. Estimation of biomass supplies in Malaysia about 47,402 dry kiloton per year, approximately 26,161 ton per day, and also 6,677 ton per day are the total and domestic demand in production of bioethanol in Malaysia, respectively. The major sector such as agriculture generates uh, oil palm front as the main source of lignocellulosic waste. Therefore, we can minimize the cost required uh, from harvesting the raw materials for a product. Based on some analysis, the agriculture waste such as oil palm front and also rice has become the main source of lignocellulosic waste. It produces about 11,672 dry ton and also 4,534 dry ton of cellulose and hemicellulose respectively. Main raw materials which are glucose and xylose that are recovered from cellulose and hemicellulose will go through a fermentation process and the yield of bioethanol uh, can be shown uh, based on the equation below. So a triton of lignocellulosic biomass costs about 250 ringgit to produce 200 liter of bioethanol. The waste such as oil palm trunk costs approximately 1 ringgit and 25 cent per liter. To generate uh, 1 liter of bioethanol will cost 26 cent with additional cost of hydrolysis process which is 20 cent and also the fermentation process will cost 6 cent for this product. Therefore, it contributes about 1 ringgit and 51 cent as the total of producing bioethanol per liter in Malaysia. The market price of bioethanol in Malaysia is about 2 ringgit and 10 cent per liter and the bioethanol proved uh, to have some profit. So for target market analysis, we aim the customer in various industries such as pharmaceutical manufacture, cosmetic and also detergent and disinfectant. 
So we also target the transportation industry as they have demand of our product as alternative way to get transportation energy. Move to the location analysis. So we all agree that Mojoho is the best site location because it fulfill our requirement and also it has good potential for our project. In Ujoho also, we do not have a competitive market because lacking of plant that produce biotanol. Ujoho also is a state that recorded the highest area of oil palm plantation. Thus, it will be feasible for transportation to supply the raw materials because biotanol produced from it. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So, our company are decided to produce ethanol from sugar cane. This is due to, we find out that there are a lot of um, advantages if we choose this kind of process. So the advantages of this process are, for is it, it is eco-friendly due to, due to one of the major byproducts produced is dry fiber, which is known as uh, bagasse. Um, bagasse is combusted and then will generate heat and power. Next is a reduction of noxious emission and carbon dioxide. This is to ensure that our environment will not pollute during and after the process of our chemical. Next is reduction of cost and time. This is um, due to our uh, raw material is sugarcane and we do some research that in our country there are a uh, 1.3 million until 1.6 million of production can annually. Uh, this is this will ensure that our raw material will not run out during the process. Next is high demand of ethanol. This uh, this is because ethanol are not only available in Asia. However, there is highly a marketable to export to the other country. This is the function of uh, ethanol itself is not only for ethanol but we can uh, export to to company as uh, to make beverages and also addictive to automo automobile gasoline so for um, ethanol production our company start from scratch where we buy uh, stock of sugarcane from local farmer and then um, from the stock or the raw materials, we will produce um, sugar and then we will produce ethanol. So the sugar we can also use as um, our side product um, to, ex to to be sold and we can get the profit also. And this is the flow process diagram. The important uh, process in this uh, chemical plant is um, mining, lining, clarification, evaporation, drying, uh, fermentation, um, and also dehydration, uh, and then it will become an ethanol, our main product. So for the equipment, first is miler. So this sugarcane collected from the uh, farmer will be transported to the mining process. So the miler will green all the sugarcane solid and to extract the juice. Next is heated. The juice then will be heated up until 115 degrees Celsius to ensure the liquid can be separated easily. Next is clarification. Uh, in clarification, it is important so because of it contains of undesired um, organic compound. So clarification will coagulate and full locate the sugarcane juice like which later will be filtrate. Uh, next is evaporator. The to operate with small uh, temperature of heating vapor and um, steam. This is important because um temperature is one of the parameter that uh, play roles in uh, ensure that the process of product uh, producing ethanol is uh, is in good quality. Next is dryer. Uh, to dry out all the excess of the solution uh, to avoid impurity, impurities. Next is distillation column to recover and generate all the liquid uh, residue uh, from the bot of the bot at the bottom of the distillation column. Last but not least is molecular 
molecular sieve. This happens in a dehydration process. This is due to the de dehydration process uh, of the residue water occur um, to get final product, which is our anhydrous ethanol. So uh, this is our company organization. So due to the shortage of um, number of people, uh, we have the reputation of number of members. So um, our company uh, organization chart, we have three levels. Uh, the first level is the project manager, second level is the project engineer, and also the third level is the the team leader, which consists of head, uh, head of technical, head of construction, head of finance, quality, uh, human resource, and also head of safety. So this um, our decision that we have our company to produce ethanol operation. So this is the summarized job description. So for the project manager and project engineer, it is to lead and responsible towards the project. Uh, for the team leader, it is to supervise and oversee the sub team and also the sub coordinate. Uh, next is uh, the technical team. In the technical team, it is to oversee and to oversee the construction building and process so that the chemical plan will run smoothly. Next is uh, the construction team. For the construction team, it is to analyze the technical problems of on the site and also it is to assist the engineer for the technical citation. It is to assist the engineer on the maintenance usually. So the finance, for the finance team, um, it will control and analyze the budget and also the cash flow of the company. So next is human resource team. For human resource team, uh, it is to enhance and uh, the organization of human resource. This will um, to make sure the uh, there's no um, conflict between the workers and 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 others. So next is the safety team. So for the safety team, it is to ensure that um, the safety, the environment uh, uh, secure enough and safe to the workers to work, so that they will, they will, uh, the and also to ensure that the the procedure, the human uh, are the standard requirement. And also last but not least is our quality team. In quality team, it is um, to and, uh, make sure that the final product uh, meet customer quality, qualification, so that uh, we won't uh, sell or launch uh, with uh, quality. So this is the um, my map of ethanol production chemical plant. So in the uh, chemical plant, it has uh, project management, operation, assessment, and also construction. So for the operation, um, under operation, it, ha it has to uh, make marketing and also maintenance. And under marketing, it, it includes um, prospective customer, supplier, and also promotion to ensure that our marketing is good enough to attract customer. And under maintenance, it, it has to make a monitor the, uh, in and it has to have data analysis and also product delivery so that our product will deliver it uh, in a good uh, term. So next is um, uh, the assessment. So for the assessment, it has three main, which is product testing to ensure the product is good. So it, it has to be inspected. Uh, and also packaging so that it will not damage during the delivery process. Uh, it has it also in assessment it also have marketability and also le legal improvement. So for the project management, it has project deadline so that uh, we do not um, delay or do not pass the deadline. So it has also team development. Uh, project charter and also project plan. So under each of it has uh, under project plan has scope, cost and also schedule, which is important to ensure the main and uh, our and focus of our uh, product is not uh, different. And for the construction, it has it has to construct 
sector selection and also worker safety this is due to to ensure that our uh, safety of workers uh, safety of the construction site itself is is safe so we plan uh, we brainstorm and we plan plan uh, this is this are those important issues that need to focus on so this is the work breakdown structure of the chemical plant uh, ethanol production uh, this is uh, we get this from the mind map we did before so we sketch uh, we brainstorm all the important key and the element uh, to ensure that our uh, project runs smoothly and then we make into the from the mind map into the work product structure Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh As we know, time has been the most elements that can be managed in each project to ensure that the project will be done within the durations of the project To manage the time, the durations needs to be allocated for each activity The duration that has been stated in the tables is the perfect duration because it don't take longer for our chemical plant to be, to be start and to be done I asked a lot of professional project managers and I googled on how to schedule a mini project, our mini project. Before we start, uh, me and my team start a uh, scheduling part, we have done uh, our planning and the budgeting part. The total weeks for our chemical plan to be done and start is 168 weeks. For the organization startup, it took 52 weeks to be done. For the procurement, it took 48 weeks. The construction, 52 weeks and the commissioning and operation 60 weeks project schedule project scheduling is all about the time frame knowing how much time a team has to to done the project make it easier for the project manager to allocate tasks and make things done many project manager relies on the project schedule to set the time parameter for each project for each activity the specific of activities of each phase were mentioned in the schedule for the project. Time management is also necessary to, to make sure the project is effective on time. The table shows how much, the, how much time the phase takes for each activity. Critical path analysis. There are typical methods on how to prepare a project schedule which is a critical path analysis and current chart. Critical path analysis has been analyzed using critical path method. In order to control the project, finding the critical path is important. In critical path method, the activities that falls on the critical path represent any task that will delay the whole project if it is performed behind the schedule. A critical activity is activity that is involved in a project with, which it does not have uh, any slack time. To find the critical path, we calculate two distinct starting and ending for each activity. Activity that have Y on the critical task means the activity have the critical path. Y with the N on the critical task means that the activity does not have any critical path. Activity on the criti critical path cannot be delayed because it will make the entire project be delayed. In critical path method, there is only one estimate of duration. Therefore, uh, critical path method is a deterministic tool. Critical path method can be used to control the time and at the same time allows an efficient estimate of the project cost. The ALA network is activity on error, event on nodes, usually used by the project evaluating and review technique with network diagram. While the AON network is activity on nodes, error only used to show links, usually associated with the critical path method network diagram. The network of the critical path analysis is where the orange lines indicate the critical activities. Based on the table above, the critical activities has been identified as follows. Since the total weeks for our mini project is 168 weeks, the critical path chosen is the nearby the total week. Critical path is the longest path through the network. This is the gun chart of our project. Gun chart is the type of bar chart that illustrates the, pro the a project schedule. After critical path method is complete, the following phase is to construct a gun chart 
and to reallocate resources or reschedule if necessary. Gun chat has been has become the common technique for representing activities. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So as you know, when you do budgeting, of course you need to calculate all the costs that are needed for the plant. So the first thing first, we need to calculate the salary for the administrative and also operational department. As you can see from the table, we have eight department with a, a certain position for the employees. So we need to find out all the salary they are needed for the positions. So as you can see uh, in the table, it's actually an estimation salary for the um, for the positions, and it is based on their skills and experience. They are taken from the pay lab, pay scale, and job street website. Now we need to calculate cost for the major equipment. So as you can see, we have about 30 major equipment they are needed for the plant. So as you can see, the price on the table is actually an estimation price for the equipment in Alibaba's website. Okay, now we need to go to the expenditure costs. Expenditure costs are required to determine the cost for the raw material, land, constructions, a plant building, capital costs, transportation, utilities, labor worker, maintenance, license, and also insurance. Now we go to the office equipment costs. So office equipment are needed for the facility for our workers, especially for management department. So this process you can see from the table is actually the price, uh, the estimation price from three websites, which is IKEA, Tech Hypermart, and also Shopee. Now we go to overall cost. Overall cost consists of employee salaries, major equipment costs, office equipment costs, and also expenditure costs. Okay, capital costs. Capital costs include land purchasing, uh, major equipment, construction price, and also building costs. Now production costs. Production costs cost, uh, consist of the cost of raw material, major equipment, transportation, and also utilities. Operation costs. Operation costs are based on employee salaries, transportation, utilities, maintenance, license, and also insurance. Now we go to the net profit. Net profit is actually the uh, to analyze profitability of the project investment. So as you can see, the company initial investment is actually the overall cost. And it required to have a rate of return of 12%. So we need to consider about the maintenance that will cost about 10,000 ringgit for every single year, as it already stated in expenditure cost. So and then the company estimate about 30% from the initial investment as the cash inflow for the calculations, the cash inflow for the first year and also 20% for increment for every the next year. So the total net profit value that we get is about 40, uh, 442,299,700. Assalamualaikum. Uh Every, each project has a beginning and ending, so every little detail must be done so that the project can be put to an end. So, project termination can be done when work on the substance of the project has ceased or slowed to the point that further project growth is no longer possible, in which this is the last step of managing a project. So, there are a few types of termination that a project can fall into, such as Termination by extinction, termination by addition, termination by integration, and also termination by starvation. So based on the report that we've made before, it can be concluded that this project is this project of constructing a new chemical plant that produce by ethanol as a main production uh, can be said falls under termination by addition. So in which project personnel and assets are transferred to the newly born division. These are the methods that we use in the project closeout, which the first one is we've made a work breakdown structure that divided into four sections, which is organization, financial, purchasing, and site. And then the second one is a checklist about the project closeout that consists of things or tasks that we have done or we have not and what tasks we need to keep in view. So basically these are 
the two things that we've provided into our report. So these are the steps that we need to include in project termination in which the first one is to ensure tasks are completed, deliverable are handled off and signed off by the stakeholders, finish all paperwork, all documents are organized and signed by the appropriate person, financial team should set out, set out final invoices to the client, and paid off all invoices and close on all the project related contracts. Finalize all project reports, determine what records to keep and archive them for the future reference. We also need to assign transition support person to shepherd the project after completion and re release or resign project resources which include people and equipment. So and then we need to present the project and approval or rejection by the clients according to the project agreement. Installation and field testing are applicable and lastly close the project books and thank all members in project team for the cooperation and effort to finish the project. For the conclusion, we have provided a summary about the new chemical plant project that produced by ethanol as the main production due to its high demand in this industry. And we have decided to choose more Johor as our operation site because it satisfies the needs and requirements for this new chemical plant. And the overall cost needed to build this chemical plant is 131,779,819 ringgit as reported in the budgeting se section of this report and this project was estimated to finish construction in 116 weeks which approximately 2 years and 3 months. Meanwhile, the project was identified to fall under termination by addition and a project closeout was made before the termination is done.